What's up YouTube? Another uh, mod video by me here. What we're going to work on today is the Genesis Model 2. The mod I'm going to explain is only able to be done on the Model 1 Genesis. Um, before I get into it, I'm not responsible if you break it or if you, you know, you don't do it correctly, but fuck all that bullshit. It's easy and I think you can do it. If not, I wouldn't even be explaining it, okay? So I got faith in all of you. If you if you have a few Genesis's laying around like I do, you know, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I wouldn't even think twice about it. If, you know, I, I would do this to every one I have. So the mod that I talk about is this right here. It's uh, the RCA mod, which gives you left, right, left and right stereo audio and, uh, you know, improved video because no one wants to use the freaking dreaded cable coaxial hookup that sucks, especially on modern TVs. You can't even get it hooked up to your surround sound. So this mod's going to teach you how to uh, simply get your left and right audio and your, and your video, better video quality out of this system right here. Okay, just to explain what, what's going on here, the video is going to get tapped into the, uh, you know, just the video input here. Uh, we're going to just tap into it on the motherboard, real simple. And the left and right audio, we're going to tap into um, the headphone jack, which um, allows you to get left and right audio. Now, this will also um, affect the volume if you slide this up and down when you have it hooked up through the, through the yellow and white cables. So just keep that in mind if, you know, you wonder why it's not working. It's probably just because you got the audio all the way down. All right, now things you're gonna need to do this mod. You're gonna need a basic Phillips head screwdriver. Um, the same screwdriver will work for all screws, so just get yourself you know, one that fits, and that's all you need as far as screwdrivers go. You're also gonna need a soldering gun, um, and you're gonna need some gauge wiring. Um, I would recommend probably for this mod, I don't remember what I used, but Maybe if I look it up, I'll, I'll tell you in the description. But I would recommend probably like 20, 20 gauge. I would, I would go with 20 gauge um, wiring for this. And the last thing you're going to need, obviously, is the, um, the three jacks. Okay, you could buy these at Radio Shack. I sprung for the gold-plated ones. Yeah, that's right, gold-plated. <laughs> um, no more than like 6 to $8, okay, for, the, for all three. Uh, if you go to Radio Shack, you're going to tell them you're going to want, um, they're called panel mount phono jacks. And uh, they're all the same thing. They all do video and audio, but just, you know, pick the colors, red, white, yellow, so you don't get confused. Now let's get started. You're going to want to turn the system over onto its, so you got the back facing you. Okay. You're going to unscrew the six screws located on the bottom of the console. One, one in the corner here, one in the corner here, two in the middle, and the other two on the corners. Okay, so six screws you're going to remove. Once you remove them, the top is going to be loose, but don't just pull it because there is um, a cable that attaches the LED to the motherboard on the bottom. So you're going to want to flip it this way, okay? And you're going to want to do it slow so you can get a look in there and see what you got to remove here. So just like that. And then you'll see that cable hanging from there. It's just simply, um, it's just a, a cable with two holes that just slides into the two prongs on the LED. So you're just going to simply grab it and slide it down. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Once you do that, your top piece will come free. Um, mine won't come free, obviously, because I have the mod. Okay. But um, yours will. At this point, I want you to remove the top case of the Genesis. I also just for, realized I forgot to tell you, you're going to need a drill bit, obviously, to cut the holes in the system for the phono jacks, the RCA. Um, the size that you need is a quarter inch and obviously a drill, or you can just use a Dremel tool like I did. So basically, at this point, I want you to take your top off. Take your top off, do you hear me? So take your top off, show me your tits. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so take the top off. Drill your holes. Okay, one, two, three. Drill your holes nice and close to each other. Not too close, not too far. You know, just, just make it, you know, take a look at a system that already has the, the RCAs and try to size it accordingly, okay? Once you get the holes drilled, okay, you're gonna flip the system over. And each RCA, each phono jack, as, as Radio Shack calls it, okay, 
has a positive and a negative lead. The positive go is comes out straight, and then the negative is just uh, you know obviously it's a, it's a washer type um, piece of metal that sits in between the screw and the case, and um, it has it's more it's bent it's it's more bent. Okay, so you're gonna want to um, at this point I would recommend. Um, well, I guess it really doesn't matter the order, but... Alright, yeah, so at this point, I would just get, get all this done, okay? So, you're going to want to attach the ground... So, so you're going to want to wire the ground to the ground to the ground, leading out to just one grounded uh, cable, okay? So, so, in other words, you're not going to want a cable coming out for this ground, a cable coming out for this ground, and a cable coming out for this ground, all ready to be soldered onto three different spots of ground, okay? You're going to want to just piggyback them. So just cut like a nice little three inch or two inch piece of cable, solder the one ground to the other, and then solder this ground to this ground. So then it's basically in essence one cable when it gets to the end. Okay, hopefully you understand that. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think you got it. Okay, now the main cable that's going to come out, you're going to want to give yourself maybe 12 inches of, maybe 12 to 14 inches of, uh, of wire, just to be safe, you know, because you don't want it to be too short. So give yourself extra slack. And then once you have your ground um, ready to go, you're going to do the same for all po all three positive leads. So you're going to have a three inch connect a three inch cable connecting the ground to the ground, another three inch cable connecting the ground to the ground, and then a 12 inch cable coming out the final ground, ready to go to the board. Okay. Then you're going to have a 12 inch cable coming from the the left audio, a 12 inch cable coming from the right audio and a 12 inch cable coming from the video cable, the video. So at this point you're going to have four major cables coming off and then the ground's piggybacked. If you don't understand just message me, I'll try to explain it clear, but I think you got it. Alright, so at this point this piece is ready to be just put to the side for the moment. Now you're going to be left with the bottom board. Okay, you're going to have to get this plastic piece of steel off. There's screws all around the edges of the system all four sides that are going to need to be removed. So just remove all those screws and the top should pop off. Don't force it, that just means that you know you haven't gotten all the screws off. Just make sure you get them all, you'll be alright. Once you do that, you'll be down to the main motherboard, okay? You're going to need to get this off as well. This is being held in by a screw by two screws on the um, cartridge slot, one to the left and one to the right. There's going to be two screws on this metal piece of steel here, one here and one here. And there's going to be one final screw behind this. So just pull this up. This is where the headphone jack is. So, you know, you're probably going to tap into this, which I'll explain later. And there's going to be a screw here in the corner, I believe. So you're going to want to remove all those screws. Okay, once you remove all those screws, this board should come loose. If it doesn't, look around. There might be some extra screws you missed. Now, you're going to see a bunch of tape and some wiring. That's obviously not going to be on your board, but I'll show you where to, where to solder the, these, these puppies. All right, so just pull the board out. Okay, just, let's just get this out of the way for now. Okay, so now we're at the bottom of the board, okay? This is going to be real simple, um, I'll break this down to you. Let's start with the easiest one, the yellow video input, okay? The yellow video input is going to be going right here. Now I'll take a picture of this, I'll label it yellow video cable, and you guys will know exactly where to solder the positive lead from the yellow video cable that you soldered earlier, okay? It's very simple. Don't use too much solder and make sure the, the, the wire runs flush with the board, okay? You don't want it coming up or anything. You want it flush with the board. Use tape like I did to, um, you know, force everything where you want it to go. Try to follow my scheme here. Okay. Um, so at this point, you know, you, you'll take the 12-inch the cable coming from the yellow video cable, the positive end, and you're going to run it and solder it to this piece right here which check my video and you'll see exactly which one it is. We're going to go to part two here.